Hi beautiful beings and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sky and in today's video we are reacting to Am I the A-hole? Today we're going to find out who indeed is the A-hole on these Reddit threads. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, let's see. My husband is having a baby with his affair partner. I want him to choose between me and the baby. Oh, my chest. Am I the a-hole? Advice needed. Two months ago, my husband of 15 years confessed to me that he had been having a year-long affair with a woman he met via a friend. Mm, them friends, baby, them friends. My rock to its core, but he was remorseful and was filled with shame over it. My chest is already like pounding. After a week of contemplation on my part and begging on his part, I agreed to reconcile. He went no contact with his affair partner immediately and blocked her everywhere. It's interesting that he was still in contact with her until you decided to reconcile things. Reconciliation has been rocky and challenging. And even though he had been doing his best, I was struggling to come to terms with his betrayal. Girl, I bet. Oh my goodness. Last week, his affair partner emailed him through a new account she created because he had blocked her original account to inform him that she was pregnant with his child. Ooh. He showed me the email and told me he needed to contact her to find out if any of it was true or if she was just doing this to get him to talk to her. I find that to be fair because sometimes people be lying. So yeah, you got to find out the truth, okay? So when he unblocked her phone number, she sent him screenshots of her blood work results indicating she was indeed pregnant as well as a picture of her sonogram. I was shattered, of course. It felt like a whole new act of betrayal and I kicked him out of the house, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My husband and I wanted children and couldn't have them. Oh, that makes it so much worse they don't have any kids we tried everything from medications to ivf but nothing took so to learn that he got his affair partner pregnant was yet another blow and i can only imagine what she's going through and feeling because now it's like really affirming that it's not him that can't produce you know oh my goodness she told him she didn't want to keep the baby if he wasn't going to be in the child's life. He admitted to me that he doesn't want her to let go of the baby. I can assume that because I'm sure he wants kids as it could be his only chance to be a father. I've expressed that I am willing to continue with the reconciliation process with him but I am in no way going to accept helping him co-parent his child with this woman because it would mean having this woman in my life forever and that would be torturous. Ooh, there's so many ways to look at this. Oh, there's so many ways to look at this. Children are a blessing. Oh my goodness, he thinks it's unfair of me to be putting him in a position to have to choose between me and his baby. Am I the a-hole? Okay, we have an edit. We have an edit. I'm not going to read the edit yet. Oh my goodness, is she the a-hole? Now, this is, there. look, I'm one of those people that like to look at the glass half full. And if she's truly going to forgive him without the child it's like yes this woman will be in your life but you you kind of want a kid but then it's like oh, are you going to be resentful of the kids that's a very tough predicament to be in first of all the husband is the a-hole okay he's the a-hole for stepping out on his wife and then stepping out on his wife and not using protection it's almost like 
you know what can happen? Did you want this to happen? And as a woman, I feel as though if you are going to reconcile with him, you have to realize too that it's either going to be, it can go like you can resent the baby or he can resent you for not allowing him to have his baby. And I don't think she should put him in that position to where he has to make a decision. But at the end of the day, it's his decision to make. Just like it was his decision to make to cheat. So I do think you guys are both the a -hole. And the reason why I say she's the a -hole is because we should not pressure people to get abortions. That's not cool. And we should also not pressure people to not be in their children's life. The child didn't ask for it to be a messy situation. And if it has to be born, then every party around that baby needs to be loving and coming from a place of love. So everybody's the a-hole. Even the mistress. Because what you doing sleeping with married men? Oh, Lord. Let's read the edit. Edit. Okay. Skipping through the comments here to address a few points. As hurtful as it was to learn about his betrayal, yes, I believed with putting in the work, we could save what we had as he was truly remorseful and still is. Okay. However, some of the comments did ring true to me. Oh, had he had chosen me in our marriage, he would not even entertain the thought of having this child with her. Yeah, but the child, like she's pregnant. So it's not like, we don't know if he planned the child, but if he did not plan the child for him to like, you can't just force a woman to get an abortion, you know, oh. and in no way, shape or form would I ever consider co-parenting his bastard child. Okay. So she's not having that whatsoever. Well then girl, it just seems like y'all just not going to stay together. I don't understand the many comments suggesting he needs to do right by his child. Of course. I know this is a controversial topic for many, but this is a fetus, in my opinion, and not a child. <sighs> I beg your pardon. I beg, I beg your pardon. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. The child is innocent. It don't got nothing to do with this. It has not yet come to live, and to be quite honest, what happens to it is not my concern. The fact of the matter is he is considering having a child with this woman, placing his selfish needs to be a father above me. That's the sentence right there. The woman he took vows with and promised in sickness and in health until death do us part. She's more hurt that her husband is going to be having a child without her than she is about him cheating and because she feels this way about the fetus i don't think it's in his or her best interest to stay together if the child is born well it doesn't sound like she's gonna accept that anyway but yeah so for that reason alone i won't be leaving it up to him to choose i will make sure he knows i am no longer an option in this scenario and will be proceeding with separation and divorce ah <sighs> Edit two. Okay, we got a second edit. Am I in the twilight zone? I get cheated on. I forgive him. I found out he fathered a baby with his affair partner. I say I can work on it as long as she terminates and he does not choose to become a father to her fetus. And now I'm the devil incarnate. 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 <laughs> yes, it is a fetus right now. We understand that, but it's a life. It is an L-I-F-E, and the, it's just the way you're talking about it, ma'am. Like, you're talking about it as if it's just like, just kill the baby. <laughs> like, ma'am, wait a minute. It's not your child to make that decision. Yes, it is a fetus right now. It his, if his affair partner has the child, and it is born and it exists in the real world. It exists in the real world now, ma'am. Then yes, he should step up and be in its life. And in that case, I would no longer want to be in the picture. But as of right now, it is not here. What the F am I missing? Ma'am, you are indeed the a-hole. I'm sorry that this has happened to you and it's very unfortunate. But through the messaging and through your stance and your belief, and how you are speaking of this fetus, I do have to deem you the a-hole, unfortunately. And it's very sad. It is not your fault. 
You know, it is not your fault in any way, shape, or form, but you are indeed the a-hole, my dear. So let's move on to the comments section. 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 Wait a minute, what's that? You need to choose yourself and leave him to his pathetic mess. It it really is a mess. Like, honestly, sis, it's a mess. And yeah, I, I say just, just going about your day. Honestly, it sounds like it's what he ultimately wants. He cheated for a year and wants to keep the child for his own selfish happiness while willing to put both women in pain. If OP leaves, he's free to run back to AP and have a happy little family. Mm, but that's if she wants him. And if OP doesn't leave, eventually the husband will resent her for his ultimatum. Mm. What gets me is he said, put him in this position. I'm sorry, what? I know that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Baby, you put yourself in this position. This is your doing. That's why I'm like, he's the biggest a-hole. But you can't be forcing abortion upon people. So this commenter said, you will be the a-hole if you stay with him. Don't beg. Never, ever. It's even more desperate to stay with him. Don't beg for love ever again. And ensure a DNA test sooner rather than later. That's that's a him problem. That's not a her problem. By having the affair in the first place, he already didn't choose you. Boom. So that boat has sailed. I certainly agree. This, the affair lasted a year. I don't see how you could ever come back from that baby or no baby. For a year, he lived a double life and had no problem keeping it from you for a full year. It's very interesting, too, that I feel like he knew about the baby. I feel like he knew about the baby and he told her about the affair because he knew about the baby. Like, I think somehow, some way. The woman has been in contact with him, which is why she has to create a new email account to like make sure he knows about the baby. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he found out about the baby and he probably already had her blocked, but he found out about the baby another way. And then that's when he confessed to his wife. And then a week later, he's like, oh, I cheated for a year straight. Oh, now she's pregnant. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, you had a week to process this information while he continually begged you to stay. My guess is you're still in shock from finding out that a whole year of your life was a lie. Honey, it doesn't matter whether what happens with this baby, you need to respect yourself enough to leave him. There is nothing to salvage here. Ooh, those were the comments, guys. Oh my goodness. This was a tough one. Would you leave or would you stay? And do you deem her the a-hole? Honestly, I only deem her the a-hole for how she felt about the baby, the fetus. But her husband or ex-husband is the a-hole, in fact. And honestly, the mistress is wrong too. But like, did she know? We don't know if she knows. Nobody knows if she knows. And at the end of the day, the biggest a-hole is the cheater. Go and run off with your baby. I hope you, the lady who this happened to, live an amazing life and find a new partner. <laughs> oh, I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending you so much love through the mail right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get on to the next one. Now we have, am I the a-hole? For giving my ring back after my fiance made a comment to his guy friend's Regarding why we haven't gotten married. Mm, this is very, very interesting. My fiance and I, both 30, have been together for eight years and engaged for four years. Okay, okay, okay. Been together eight years, engaged for four years, not yet married. We got engaged right before C19, y'all know, the vid, really hit. And obviously that put a huge halt on any sort of planning and then from there forward life events halted it even more became homeless and ended up pregnant and having our child now we are back on our feet but not financially where we need to be yet okay that was that was that was a lot to process uh back roughly Back roughly five months ago-ish, I brought up marriage and basically approached the idea of having a backyard wedding 
and a potluck. That seems very fair and reasonable. Basically going cheap because I don't really care so much about the wedding or price whatsoever. That makes sense because eight years, engaged four years, there's a child. Okay. You guys have been homeless. All right. Uh, I just want to wear a pretty dress and have all eyes on me and get married to the love of my life. I don't care about the expensive bells and whistles. When I brought it up, he told me that that wouldn't be a bad idea and that we could probably try planning for July-ish 2025. Okay. 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 But we haven't really talked about it since that point as other stuff came up. Okay. So that was five months ago. Okay. Here's the issue though. Back about a month ago, we were down to our neighbor's home people who have grown to be really good friends since we moved here one and a half years ago. I was hanging out with a neighbor's wife and her best friend, okay? My fiance was hanging out with a group of three to four guys having beers and working on vehicles. Well, one of the guys there was talking about his wife and said, once you get married, everything freaking stops. I overheard in the middle of the conversation so I have no idea what stops during marriage, but it was a negative comment regardless. But anyways, my fiance then starts laughing and goes, that's why I've been dragging my feet on marriage. And the guys just laughed and said, don't do it, man. It's a trap, et cetera, et cetera. It really hurt me, but I figured it was just locker room talk and tried my best to move on. But like, I couldn't let it go. It sat in the back of my head. So a couple of weeks ago, I brought up getting married again and just ran some ideas by him on simple things like what we saw our wedding colors being. And he shut down a bit and said something to the effect of, I think we need to weigh the pros and cons of being married first and shut down the conversation. You think that you guys need to weigh the pros of cons of being married first after being together for eight years and you're already engaged for four years? Mmm, instant plunge to my gut, honestly. So I walk outside to calm myself down, but I just couldn't shake it, honestly. So I went back inside and calmly handed him my ring back and asked him what he wanted for dinner. Oh, <laughs> oh, little petty, little petty, okay? I didn't want to make a big deal, so there was no yelling, no crying, nothing. It's it's still a big deal to hand a ring back and say, what do you want for dinner? But okay, I was calm and moved on, but he instantly asked me what I was doing and why I gave the ring back. So I mentioned his comment to his buddies about dragging his feet and now his comments about needing to wait and weigh the pros and cons before going through with anything. And I told him I don't want to wait nor do I want to get my hopes up for a marriage that he's clearly changed his mind about. So I would rather he have the ring back and go into this without the sound of wedding bells in my head. Let's just move on, basically. We can still be together, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Wow, she's a very reasonable woman, wouldn't you say? Well, he got extremely defensive, started saying, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, or you're being extreme for no reason. Is she the a-hole? <laughs> I mean, all you did was give a ring back. You, you're still staying with him after eight years and being engaged for four years. And, you know, y'all still got to weigh the pros and cons of marriage. Y'all got a kid together. Okay. You heard what he really feels about it to the guys. So I wouldn't consider you the a-hole at all. I mean, you, you said you're still going to stay with the man. So y'all going to live y'all happy, unlife married and wait, what? Happy, un, what? H happy life, unmarried. And no, I wouldn't consider you the a-hole. I mean, you don't have to be a fian fiance forever. It's, you know, maybe, maybe the ring has some value and you guys can take the ring back. You know, and and maybe that can go to other things because life be life in. So no, I wouldn't consider you the a-hole. Let's read the comments because uh, these will be very interesting in my opinion. You called him out and now apparently he's going to backtrack instead of double down. Don't fall for it, OP. If you marry him, if he begs you to, theoretically, he'll just resent you for it. Honestly, people are so silly because having a baby together is way more of a commitment 
than a marriage and you've been together for eight years already. He's still afraid of verbally committing. The paperwork and a single party is the line in the sand for him. The law already considers you married anyway, so it can't be divorce settlements he's worried about. He just doesn't want to commit to marriage. Mm, good for you making it clear what the relationship is. If you had the finances for it, I'd say leave and just co-parent because you deserve a partner who loves you enough to make that choice, not the a-hole. Now, this is the thing. I do find it very interesting that there are some people who will be together forever and not actually commit to marriage and will have children and will live together and all of that. But at the same time, it's like, well, do you really leave a good thing? Like if it, if the relationship is really like a good thing, do you leave that because of marriage? I don't know. But at the same time, that's kind of what happens when you allow somebody to drag their feet. Because if you're like, oh, I'm leaving and it's been two years, it's a little bit easier for you to leave. But after eight years and they're like, I still don't want to get married right now. We need to really wait to pose the cause. It's like, dang, eight years and a child. Do you really want to give that up? Mm. Absolutely. My brother got married at 18, divorced at 25, and never saw his ex-wife again. It's been over a decade since they communicated. One of my best friends had a one-night stand, got pregnant, and kept it. And she has been co-parenting with a random dude for the last two decades. Way bigger commitment. I mean, you know, I do know a lot of a lot of baby mamas and baby daddies and not a lot of married, divorced people, married, then divorced people. So I, <laughs> not to mention they're basically already common law married. What's the big deal about signing a piece of paper to make it official? People don't seem to understand that a marriage is just a committed relationship with legal standing. Not that much actually changes. You're still in the same relationship. Mm. That's why it's like the Bible said, don't do all that stuff until y'all are married. Because then it just be like, oh, look at look at this entire package deal you get when you're married. But if you do all of those things before marriage, then why would people get married? <sighs> we need to weigh the pros and cons. He had four years since proposing to think about that. He absolutely does not want to get married. If he did, you would be. Yeah. I agree. So we're going to deem you not the a-hole. You are indeed, my friend, not the a-hole. I am so sorry to these ladies that this is happening to them. And guys, don't worry. We're going to get on the ladies. We're going to get on the ladies next. Anywho, it's your girl, Sky, and I'll see you in another video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel because your girl's on a mission right now, okay? I'm on a mission to get 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. It is October 25th. I think we're capable of that. What do you think?